not only are there differences between the adults of different butterfly species that can be used to identify them, there are differences between the caterpillars of different butterfly species that can be used to identify them. The same is true in insect order Odonata, the dragonflies and damselflies, where the larvae of different species of dragonfly vary from each other, and the larvae of different species of damselfly vary from each other. They can vary in the time it takes for the eggs to hatch, from a few days to a month, to some species where the eggs uh, last over winter and hatch the following spring. They can vary in the amount of time they will spend in the larval stage uh, from about a month, especially in warm tropical areas, to several months, which is typical, to several years, especially in regions where it is colder. It can vary in how they hunt. Some will burrow in a muddy substrate and uh, pursue prey. Others will simply uh, wait and ambush their prey from piles of debris with only their heads exposed. Others will slowly stalk prey while moving along aquatic vegetation. Some will stab their prey with their mouth parts. Others will grab their prey with their mouth parts. As you can see here between these different species of damselfly larvae, there are anatomical differences which could be used by an expert or someone using a key to distinguish between different species. Differences in the antennae, in the shape of the head, in the shape of the mouth parts, in the length of the body, etc. So just as we can distinguish between different species of butterfly in both the adult and caterpillar forms, we can do the same in the order Odonata, distinguishing both between the adults and between different species of larvae.